they could have saved the wear and tear on Greta's muzzle, there were no tensions building in her today. Even if the others were raring to go, this race meant as little to her as it meant everything to her owner. In fact, he didn't know what he'd do tomorrow if Greta wasn't in the money today. And in his attitude was the essence of everything Greta wanted to get away from. It was always the race that mattered. It seemed to her that although she was treated with care, there was never affection. Now here was a man she could have liked, but when he laid a hand on her, it was only to be sure her toenail identification matched the one on her chart. If somebody, just once, would even act a little playful, or do something a little different. <laughs> Experience and a strong time sense told Greta that she and the other dogs were about to be paraded down to the track for the same old sixes and sevens. of them could hardly wait. They all loved the life of the racetrack. Some of them got so excited that the lure always had to be covered up while the dogs were taken to the starting boxes. It was when she was put in her starting box that Greta knew she couldn't go around that track again without doing something different. This time, she was gonna have some fun. The rabbits are ready. feeling like a mindless automatic number, sprinting around the track and never getting close to the quarry. She was going to get out of that pack of numbers and think for herself for once. Now she could cut through the infield, she could head those rabbits off at the home stretch. First, there was a feeling of pride in what she had done. She quickly sensed the unspoken surprise and disapproval around her. And then the cold, wordless anger of her owner lay like a weight on her back. Greta's moment of rebellion was more successful than she knew, for it 